it's getting late. I bet it's after one o'clock and Dorothy's not home. I guess Dr. Kagan's turning out to be wonderful. Or maybe he drugged her and sold her into white slavery. <laughs> Either way, I'm glad she's out of the house. Uh, now sit back and listen, I got a jerk story. Okay. Picture it, Brooklyn, 1948. My friend's son was helping me out around the house. I was expecting Dorothy home from the library any minute. I finished stacking those crates for you, Mrs. Petrillo. Thank you, Myron. You're a good kid. In fact, before you go, I'd like to have a little talk with you. Sit. As you know, Myron, I've always thought of you as a bright, polite young man. Talented, ambitious, smart. I'm not going out with your daughter, Mrs. Petrillo. <laughs> You've got a Myron. She's spending too much time with this yutz named Zbornak. She has to see what a real date is like. I'm sorry, Mrs. Petrillo. She's just not my type. I see. Uh, how about Mr. Hamilton? Is he your type? What time should I pick her up? 7.30 and buy her something pretty. Okay, but if you want me to kiss her goodnight, it's gonna cost you extra. But no tongue. Ah, what the hell. Oh, look. My beautiful daughter is home from school. Hi, Hello, pussycat. Sam? It's Stan, Mrs. Petrillo. Yeah, right. Now find someone who cares. <laughs> Mom, we got something really important to tell it you. It can wait. Dorothy, you remember Myron, don't you? Listen, Mom, we got to talk now. Don't be rude, Dorothy. We have a guest. Don't you have something to say, Myron? Uh, Dorothy, I was wondering if you would do me the honor of going out with me tomorrow night. Well, what do you say, Dorothy? I'm pregnant. This is going to cost a lot more. <laughs> Deal's off, Myron. You better go. But what about this? Hush money. <laughs> Honestly, Mrs. Petrillo, I don't know how this happened. Hmm, let's see. Did you both drink out of the same cup? <laughs> Stanley, go into the kitchen. I want to talk to Ma in private. I'm sorry, Ma. I know I've disappointed you. How could you let this happen, Dorothy? How could you throw everything away for an hour's worth of passion? I don't know. It just sort of... What do you mean an hour's worth? It's supposed to take an hour? And what happens to your dream? You were going to be the first Petrillo to go to college. You were going to be a teacher. I'm still going to be a teacher, Ma. This won't change that. Now, when you say an hour, does that include everything? <laughs> Oh, God, Dorothy, we've got to get you married. Stan's asked me to marry him. But who? Who could we get? Who? 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 I told Stan yes. Did you sign anything? <laughs> Ma. I guess we have no choice. My baby is having a baby. I can't believe it. Ma. I'm scared. Look, pussycat. Even though it's going to hurt a lot, and I do mean a lot. <laughs> there's something very special about bringing a new life into this world. And this child's got a lot of love waiting for him. Right here. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. Uh, I don't believe I did this. And I hate his name. For the rest of my life, I'm going to be Dorothy's born act. Ah, uh, come on, pussycat. Look on the bright side. At least he's got a full head of hair. <laughs> wow, Sophia, that was some story. Yes, it was. Funny, touching, with a surprise twist ending. I wonder if it was true. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn that stroke. <laughs>